Um, it's not time for you to be leaving yet. Hmm? Well, I've finished up all my work for the day. So what's wrong with me heading out of the office early and going out for my evening? I have plans to go meet with a friend of mine out on the town and everything. Do you want to complain about it or something, Rob? I don't believe that you are finished with all your work quite yet, though. You've just gone and forced all the other co-workers to take your tasks from you. And because of that, a lot of them are thinking that they'll have to stay late again and put in more overtime. Well, are you going to try and preach to me about things this time? Um, no. This isn't me preaching to you about anything, actually. It's just that, well... You have everyone pretty upset over the fact that you're never actually doing any of your own work. I see. So everyone is going ahead and talking behind my back about me now? That's a little bit of a shock to me, considering I thought all of us were just so close to one another here. I think I'm going to have to bring this up with my dad now. I'll let him know that I'm being picked on by everyone in this whole department. No, you really don't have to tell your dad about any of this. We are not trying to pick on you in any way. Rather, it seems to be the opposite way around here. None of us are wanting to do anything to make you feel bad in any way. We just have some concerns about you, is all. So you're telling me that people are not actually talking about me poorly behind my back? Nobody is talking about you at all in that way, to be fair. None of us have ever been doing that, because we all know to come talk directly to you if we have serious problems. However, I think that time has started to come, hence me talking with you about it right now. You always seem to want to show up to the office whenever you want, and then go home whenever you want. And while in the office, you'll have everyone else in this department do your work for you, as you sit there at your desk, looking at your phone. We are not saying rumors, or anything like that behind your back, because we are all way too busy to do so, with all your work being left behind. Oh? So that's how all of you have thought of me this whole time? Well, to spare everyone else the might of my father, I'll only be telling him that you have been saying bad things about me in the office. I'm sure that my dad will become very upset by something like that. He might even have you fired soon. <laughs> I have not been saying anything bad about you, though. I'm just telling you what all of us think about you, and everything has been true thus far. I just want you to know that it'd be best if you started to do your own work from now on, and act a little more serious about your job here. What? Now you're mad at me? Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> I've gone ahead and screenshotted all of these messages you've been sending to me, so you'd better start packing your things up and get ready to go. <laughs> go right ahead and show him. I'm sure that after seeing how this conversation has gone down, he'll understand things a lot better and act upon them. You think so? Well then, let's both be prepared then. But just know that it's not me who's going to be fired for this one. Hey, are you Rob from the General Affairs Department here? Yes, that would be me. And who am I speaking to at the moment? So that must mean you're the one that went out of line and started talking down to the daughter of the Executive Director! Since you appear to not know a thing about the politics within this company, I'm going to have you moved out to the middle of nowhere to work! <laughs> Are you really sure about that? I want you out of this office right now! Excuse me, David, but from what she told me, your daughter had shown you those screenshots of the texts that had happened between her and me, correct? She sure did show me! And I'm not letting some kind of complete stranger like you Go and preach like that to my daughter all the time! No. If you had seen the conversation we'd had, then you'd know that what your daughter has been up to is not okay. 
I'm not the kind of man that really likes to preach it all to others about how to do their jobs and such. And that's why this time, I chose to just text her about it. So that it would all be in a much more lighthearted fashion. There is nothing wrong with my daughter! And even if she was causing problems for anyone in the company, you were all to look away from it and mind your own business! What? Did you not hear about how she's been pushing all her work off onto other co-workers, and then leaving the office to go home whenever she pleases? This is not the kind of situation where all of us can just ignore what she's doing. And the worst part of all this, is that she doesn't seem to understand that what she's doing is wrong. She's not even willing to own up to it in any way. STOP LYING TO ME! MY DAUGHTER IS A PERFECT AND KIND LITTLE GIRL! I've heard enough from you now, so get all your things off your desk and leave this office! I'm going to make you head to that small little office out in the middle of the countryside! You're going to have me move to another office all because of this? I think you are best to start thinking with your head on straight, David. The only reason your daughter was even hired into this company is because she's related to you, and now she's going around threatening other co-workers with being fired by her dad. As a working adult, does that not make you or her embarrassed by you guys' actions at all? You. Did you know that recently this company has been experiencing a lot of theft of materials from within its offices? I know about that. I was the one that started to make those posters all over the building, warning people to be more careful with their things to avoid them being taken. The man behind all that theft, it's you, right? Huh? What are you even talking about? That's the reason I'm having you moved out to that smaller office in the middle of nowhere, and your pay cut. I'm going to tell the company president that right now. I'm not going to tell him a thing about how you went against me, and started to make nasty comments towards my daughter, and then preach to her about her job. Do you even have evidence of me stealing things from this office? Well, I do happen to have some evidence, actually. I had a camera placed in the break room, where I was able to see every corner of it from. And I just happened to catch loads of videos of you taking things that are not yours! <laughs> you put up a camera in the break room? You do realize that the break rooms are separated between genders for a reason, right? There are shower rooms and everything in there, so that could be a huge problem for you, having put up a camera in there to watch over everyone. But anyway, I have not been the one doing any of that stealing. Could you show me those videos that you've recorded of me? No way! There happen to be things of it of other employees in this company, and I'd like to keep all that private, of course. So I'm having the videos edited right now to remove all the people who have nothing to do with your crimes. But just know that you are in all of the videos, clearly. I know for a fact because I remember every instance of you stealing things. <laughs> this is my first time ever running into someone as awful as you. Are you not embarrassed by the things you are doing right now? You, even after all of this that I told you about, you still have the drive to want to fight back? You already know you're finished, so all of this fighting from you is useless, and you're making yourself look like even more of an idiot! <laughs> Go and clean off your desk right now, and then leave this office before this day is over! Understood? Understood. Are you sure you don't want to talk with the company president about all this before I leave? HA! The company president doesn't need to hear from me about how I'm having some low-level employee like you transfer to a worse office, with worse pay! <laughs> is that so? Well, alright then. Get out of here, now! It's too bad for you that you had to be born with only half a brain! Hey, I heard from my dad about everything, you know. He asked for you to get all your things together and get out of the office building. <laughs> this must have really opened your eyes to reality, right? <laughs> you are a complete disgrace to this company. I know. Once I finished up my work for the day, I'm getting all my things together and leaving. 
To be honest, I was hoping he would just fire you on the spot, but... My dad is a very nice man, so he lets you off the hook by having you move to that crappy and old office building. You should be thankful that he didn't take things any further with you. If anything, I feel sorry that a company like this had to hire such a man as him. I suppose it was kind of him to only have me move to a different office, out of his sight. I'll enjoy a new place of work now, and hopefully, everyone there is a lot better behaved. I've become tired of having to care for the child that was only hired because of her connection to her dad, after all. <laughs> Such a pile of crap you are, but since you're going to be moving far away from here, I'll forgive you for that one. Good luck with life out there in the middle of nowhere. I hope your life as a thief can be longer lived over in that office. I am not a thief, and I haven't been stealing anything from this office. Right? <laughs> Lie all you want. Do you even stole my purse, right? Huh? What are you trying to bring up this time? I had my purse stolen by you, even. I saw it with my own two eyes, actually. I'll let my dad know about that before he leaves the office today. When did I steal that purse of yours from you? It doesn't really matter when it happened, right? I saw it with my own eyes, so that's all that matters. If you saw it with your own two eyes, then you tell me the time and place it happened at. If you really happen to see me stealing your purse in person, then you should know what day and time it took place. It happened this week, on Monday, at 4.30 in the afternoon. At that moment in time, you came over to my desk and took my purse from me while I was standing down the hallway. And that's when I saw you running off with it. I was on my way back from the toilet and everything. You really are the worst kind of man. 4.30 in the afternoon, huh? That's a very particular time for you to be able to remember that happening at. Well, of course it is. I have a picture as evidence that I took of it happening, and it says the time it was taken in the picture's info. It says it clear as day, so there's no mistaking it now. You're not going to be able to talk your way out of this one, you thief. A picture, huh? You're going to find that a lie like that won't be getting you very far. But go ahead, and do whatever you want. I'm going to do what I'd like. <laughs> I hope you find life hard at the other office when everyone there knows you as the corporate thief. <laughs> Hey, Rob, tell me what kind of relationship you have with the company president. Excuse me? Why do you want to hear that from me all of a sudden? Right now, he's running all over the office building after coming back from that overseas trip he took, and he's yelling that he's looking for his grandson. Are you... are you really the grandson of the company president? Well, yes, I am. And what does that have to do with anything? You... What? You... Why did you never tell me about any of that sooner? Well, had I told everyone that I'm the grandson of the company president, everyone in the company would start to treat me way too kindly, right? So I've kept that a secret this whole time, in order to keep balance and equality here. And luckily, our last names are different from one another so nobody would have even been able to tell. So you really are his grandson. So you're... You really are related to the freaking company president! Well, that's what I'm saying now. All right. I'd like you to come back to this office building at once and return to your desk. Huh? You don't have to put in any more time over at that crappy office. Come back here, and return to your previous job! You should be able to make it back here before lunch, right? What are you going on about right now, David? You told me yourself before I left that place, that I was never to leave this smaller office ever again, and that I'd be working here for the rest of my life, right? Well, things have changed drastically! When you say things have changed, is that because I'm the grandson of the company president? 
I do not want to be treated special because of my connection to him. I like to work with my own strength here. And that means I don't have anything to do with my grandpa. No. That's not what all of this is about. Now just hurry up and get back in here. I do not want this turning into any more of a problem than it already is. I'll go talk with the company president right now and try to calm him down for you. I'm sorry, but I'm not coming back. I happen to have a lot of work that needs to get done over at this office now. You are being a real pain in the butt for me now! Do you have any idea what'll happen if the company president catches on to what's happened? I don't care what happens. You're the executive director, so that's going to be your problem, not mine. But of course, he's going to be pissed with what you've done. He happens to hate when things don't happen according to plan. Especially when it has to do with one of the higher-ups in the company. You... I can see that you think you're all special now! This is your last chance! Are you really sure you don't want to come back to this office and make things right for everyone? Even if I wanted to come back, I can't do it today. I happen to have a lot of work that needs to get done, and I'm not going back until it's all handled. For God's sake, the parent! David, it appears that you were contacted by the company president. You told him that you had found me to be the one who stole your daughter's purse, and that's why you had me kicked out of that office and moved out here. I did tell him that, because it's the truth. The fact that you had the nerve to steal my daughter's purse. I even gave you a chance to come back after kicking you out, but you said no to it, so this will all be your fault now. But you didn't have any evidence of me being the one to steal it, right? I don't think that it was the most brilliant idea trying to paint me as the thief, all just to have a reason to kick me out of there. Are you trying to smart mouth me now? You're a freaking idiot, Rob! <laughs> Alyssa happened to see you do it with her own eyes, and that's enough evidence for me. Also, with the camera I placed in the men's break room, I was able to catch you on it stealing it, and I know for a fact that's you! Then could you please tell me when it was that I was in the break room, stealing things? You happen to have video evidence of it, correct? That should mean that the time and everything of the incident are on that video recording as well. I have the time. This Monday, at 4.30 in the afternoon. The time of all this happening is in the bottom left corner of the video, so there's no mistaking it now. You went into the break room while everyone else was just leaving to get back to work, and you started sifting through people's bags and jackets. You thought that was the perfect chance to get away with it all, right? I see. Then this means that at 4.30 in the Monday of this week, I was in the men's break room, right? There are no mistakes with any of that information, right? Right. That's all correct. No mistakes. I can show you the timestamp and everything on the video recording later if you want. But it seems that your plan to steal everyone's things was never going to work out for you, huh? If you really want to think that this video is edited in some way, to make you look as though you stole those things, Remember that I was in the group of men walking out of here, and I did not see you leaving the break room. So you were definitely behind all of this. <laughs> I'm sorry to have to ask you this, but did you talk with Alyssa at all about the time that video recording of me stealing things from the break room took place? Huh? Why are you asking me that? Well, it just seems to me that there's something not quite right with all of this. From what Alyssa was telling me about me stealing her purse, she said it took place at 4.30 in the afternoon, on Monday. That's apparently when I went to her desk and stole her purse. Huh? And if you think that I'm mistaken, she told me she took a picture of me stealing her purse and all, and the time on it says 4.30. But even with that detail, you are telling me that at that time, I was in the men's break room stealing from them? How was I in two completely different parts of the office building at the same time? What? Wait a moment. I'm going to have a talk with her. Sure, go right ahead. 
Hey, Alyssa! Why did you not explain things to Rob like we have both discussed? I told you that at 4.30, I'd be saying he was in the men's break room stealing things, right? Huh? No, I thought that we agreed that at that time he was going to be in my office stealing my purse off my desk. But I never agreed to you saying he was stealing your purse at that time? This is your fault this time, Dad. Why are you going to try and blame me for you not telling him the right times we planned on? You were the one that messed up this time. You told me that we'd be able to do all of this easily and make him look like the thief so that we could get him out of this office without being caught. And that's still the plan. I've been trying to help you get rid of him by painting him as the thief. You are not helping me out, though. You totally forgot about the times we had agreed on. But... But I explained to you before about how I have him recorded on the camera I placed in the men's break room and everything, right? I never heard about all that from you. Are you kidding me? What are you doing? The only time we weren't going to have an alibi from the other members of this department was during the time I was with Rob, right? And that all took place at 4.30, so you were supposed to give a time besides that. Now, when they're questioning me on why he was in two different locations at 4.30, they're going to find a hole in our lies and blame me. You'll be alright. They haven't started looking for anyone just yet who is behind this. And they haven't even began asking for all the evidence we have. Now, for the time being, leave all of this up to me. And just stand by and wait for me to be finished with it. Okay? Huh? Are you trying to say that I'm getting in your way now? Well, wait, that's not what I said! Telling your own daughter to sit one out while you go and handle everything alone is the worst. Whatever, I don't care what happens to you now. Alyssa! Hey, you happen to be the grandson of the company president, right? I don't happen to have the phone number of the company president on me, so I'm going to tell you this so that you can tell him. The man that's been behind all of the theft within the company is my dad, David. Excuse me? What do you mean by that? I just told you what I mean. The man that's been going around stealing everything here is the executive director. My dad. But you were saying before that you saw me with your own eyes, stealing your purse out of your office, right? You're starting to contradict what you've said before now. I happen to make a mistake then. You and my dad happen to look very similar after all. Anyway, I want you to tell the company president everything I just said to you. Understood? Um, I do not want to become involved in whatever fight you're having with your father at the moment. And really, you don't have to worry about what's been going on in the company anymore. Because the two of you will be getting fired here shortly. So maybe it's best you both just forget about whatever plan you made to have a reason for me being kicked out of that office. And just make up. Huh? Why do I have to be fired as well? Well, that's because you've been the one going around the office building stealing people's things from them. Huh? Let me tell you right now. Everyone here has seen you stealing things off their desks and out of their bags. That's why during these past few days, I've been going around gathering evidence of it and making an investigation. You did know that there are security cameras all over the office building's interior, right? Besides the break rooms, of course. Security cameras? Uh, there are security cameras all over this office building's interior? Yes, of course. And your father, the one who is the executive director for that office building, should have been aware of that as well. And well, on multiple of those cameras, we have video evidence of you stealing. And of course, the company president has watched through all of the recordings. Lies. Uh, these are lies, right? None of this is a lie. You're most likely going to be sued by multiple different people for this now. So I suggest you find yourself a really good lawyer. But if you don't want that, then maybe you need to start giving everything you've stolen back to the victims. Well, it's not a problem for me. I still have my dad around to help me out of this. 
Interesting. You were just going on about how he's been the one behind all of this. And now you want his help defending you? My dad is a very kind man, so he'll forgive me for this. What? He's not answering his phone. What's going on here? Did he go ahead and send you straight to voicemail or something? I'm sorry, but the company president has already gone and dealt with your father. What do you mean? Then what am I going to do about this? Well, now that your father, whose position you abused, is no longer around, there's nothing you can do. I think the first thing you can try doing is going up to everyone you stole from and try apologizing to them. Shut up! I'm going to go and find my dad right now! Rob, I'm so sorry about so many things. Out of my own selfish anger, I had you relocated to another office building and your pay reduced. And I also tried to paint you as the thief. That's right. And these apologies from you are well deserved. But, being moved to another office building isn't that much of a problem for me. Everyone that's working out at this location are very nice people. And they've all been teaching me all sorts of things that even I never knew about the company. And the best part of all out here, is there is nobody like your daughter here, who is brought into the company because they're family, and never get any work done. I can't really say anything to that now. I know that. Now... Is that all you have to say? You're not going to ask me to say anything to my grandpa as a way of having him pardon you or anything? No. This was just meant to be me apologizing to you. I'm going to be leaving this company now. And on my way out, I'm going to apologize to every single person here for what I've done. Well, if that's how you're handling things now, then that must mean the company president towards you pretty well, right? I understand completely now why he was that mad with me. He was not going to take any of my crap from me, and he made that very clear. Just a bit ago, Alyssa ran into the room while he was yelling at me. And after he asked for me to leave his office, I could hear him tearing her a new one from the other side of the door. And when everything went quiet, the door opened, and she walked out looking like a zombie. That's the first time I've ever seen anything like that. Not even I'm able to picture how upset my grandpa must have been with you both, and I happen to be his family. At home, he's yelled at my mom and dad all the time, but never in a way that zombified them. But of course, I am his grandson, and he'd never ever want to yell at me about anything at home. However, that doesn't mean he wouldn't yell at me like that when I'm one of his employees, and I've screwed up as bad as your daughter and you have. Well, anyway, know that I'm... that I really am sorry about what happened. I promise that my daughter and I will never show up to this company again. That is a promise. Okay? Alright. Please, do that. This company was made by my grandpa, and to me... It's a very important place. And so, having two people as selfish and crazy as you around here will not be tolerated ever again. And I'll make sure of it. Goodbye. After that, both David and his daughter Alyssa were fired from the company and kicked out of the office building. When it came to the money that Alyssa had to pay all of the victims, she never bothered to acknowledge any of it and asked her father to pay it all instead. But her father had realized he was no longer going to spoil his daughter, and he said no when she came and asked for his help. In the end, she had to end up borrowing a lot of money to pay all the victims, and is now facing a lot of debt that she'll need to pay off somehow. After seeing the company president so angry at them, neither one of them wanted to work corporate anymore, and things between them really started to become distant. David started to seclude himself inside his house for a long time, never coming out to do anything in fear of seeing employees from the company. And Alyssa has started to work during the nighttime, working jobs that most women her age would be too afraid of. The company president went ahead and apologized for never noticing something as bad as what happened going on inside his company a few days after firing David and Alyssa. 
He then followed that by saying he'd start to build a much closer and tighter workplace, where everyone could speak up about things without fear of there being a higher up that would attack them. A few weeks after that, everyone in the office began to notice how much more relaxing work could be when that father and daughter duo were no longer around. My grandpa later asked me if I wanted to come back to the head office and work there again. But after what had happened, everyone there knew I was his grandson, and so I had to say no. I'd much rather work out in the countryside anyway, where people don't know my connections to the company president, and where everyone is just nicer to me. I told my grandpa that I want to work in a place where I'm not treated any better due to my connections, and that I wanted to keep working hard, so that I may one day be in his position as company president.